Good afternoon, and welcome to our devotion this afternoon. It is Wednesday, the 16th, no, 17th of September. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Sanctify us in your truth. Your word is true. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We pray. O God, as we come to you this day, we pray for a spirit of peace. So many things in this world seek to overwhelm us. By your Holy Spirit, bring to our minds the blessings of your presence in Christ and the love that has restored us to you, that we may put aside the fears and concerns that seek to blind us to all that you have done for us. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. The lesson is from Corinthians, uh, Colossians today, Colossians chapter 3. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put on, then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so also you must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. In today's scripture lesson, we are encouraged to dress in a way that shows that what we value and who we are. Not with earthly or old sinful clothes, but to put on Christ and his characteristics. Before this passage, we are reminded to put off the things that are sinful, demeaning, and hurtful, such as malice, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed. We take off the old self to then put on the new set of clothes compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And above all, we are to put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. These new outfits were worn by Jesus perfectly, and we as his followers model our lives after him. The result of this change of clothing is that whatever we do, we do it in the name of Jesus Christ. In him, we set our minds on things above, not on things of the earth. Christ dwelling in us changes us, the choices we make and the life that we live, so that in all things we demonstrate his love to others. We pray. Jesus, thank you for clothing me with yourself. Help me to live like you in love toward you and others. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. 